Clay tobacco pipes may have been the first disposable product. For centuries, smokers in North America and Europe used them until they broke, which happened often. Clay pipes fell out of widespread use at the end of the 19th century, but they're still made today by clay artists with a reverence for history. Nostalgia is the new niche market for clay pipes. Popular at historical reenactments and coveted by collectors because history buffs like an authentic puff. At this Midwest American studio, the craftsman starts with a small wad of clay. He rolls it long and thin and flares the shape at the end. This establishes the basic shape of a Native American style clay pipe. He drives a taper stick into it to hollow the long stem and stops just short of the flared end. He rolls it with the stick inside as he continues to shape the clay. He trims the flared end and now transforms it into the pipe bowl. He presses a handmade stone tool into it to make it hollow and then flares the bowl some more. To better define the shape of the bowl, he kneads the clay from the outside. He removes the stone implement. He now works the pipe bowl entirely by hand to make the thickness of the wall a little more uniform. One more roll and then he punctures the bowl cavity to link it to the air passage. He bends the bowl upward and then sculpts the clay a little more. He sets it aside to dry a bit. The clay hardens but is still soft enough to carve into with the edge of a wood tool. To create notches and other trim marks, he gently presses the tool into the bowl. He tweaks the shape a little more and leaves the pipe to dry much longer now. The moisture evaporates and the clay solidifies. Using another stone tool, he grinds off bumps and other surface flaws. The grinding leaves little scratches on the pipe. He rubs those away with water. The clay quickly absorbs the small amounts of water and the surface of the pipe dries in a very short time. After that, this replica native pipe looks pretty smooth. Other native pipes are more elaborate. The bowls are decorated with effigies of an animal or human. Here, the artist sculpts a man's face onto the bowl. He uses a blunt stick to raise a couple of eyebrows and add nostrils. He rolls eyeballs and plants some ears on the side. The pipe bowl will serve as the mouth. Native people believe that smoke carries their prayers to the gods. To make an English tavern pipe, he shapes the clay in a mold with a metal wire inside to create an air channel. He trims the excess clay. He stamps the maker's mark onto the base of the pipe. After he removes the wire used to make the air channel, there's drawing time, and then he fires it in a kiln at approximately 1100 degrees Celsius. After 17 hours, each pipe is a solid piece of white ceramic. He fires the native pipes outside in the open air. He builds a fire around them using bark, leaves and twigs. This is the traditional way natives have hardened their ceramic items. As the fire burns, the clay hardens and takes on a smoky black finish. The fire dies down and he removes the now hardened clay pipes. Still hot, he removes them with tongs and sets them aside to cool. Later, in the studio, he dampens a cloth with mineral oil and rubs it into the clay. This seals it and gives the sooty finish a nice patina. It takes the craftsman about three days to make one of these replica clay pipes. They're sure to provide a whiff of nostalgia.